Hi everyone, this will be episode 3 of uh, Dean's Yuga Bowl Observatory Challenge and uh, this will be the last one for this one, we get back to Spoke Castle after this. It's been a nice little fun diversion. <laughs> right, um, as I said we will be discuss what these are in this episode. So you might recognise this, this is um, the electric car factory Ooh. and that's the Faraday electric cars, yep, and then over here we've got rainforestretail.com. Oh, <laughs> there's a hot air balloon going over, we'll, we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, now, these um, belong to a couple of billionaires who are responsible pretty much for the investment that was required to build the observatory so rapidly um, and they've got an ulterior motive. First let's take a look at this billionaire down here. He was the first one to come over and um, start settling in this area and this is the Dickey Pickle residence. Now, we don't think he's going to win the space race here um, because he's too busy playing with his hot air balloons and um, toy trains and messing about playing doctors and nurses with hospitals and things. So let's have a look at who we've got over here. Over here, we've got Elon Tusk's mansion. And he's the guy who owns the, uh, the Faraday electric cars. And his mortal enemy, they can't stand each other. And they've been trying to outdo each other for years and years and years. And this one is Jeb Bozo's mansion. And these two have been basically trying to outdo each other for years and years and years, can't stand each other and um, they've been looking for different ways to wave their willy at the world. So we've got Jeb Bozo's willy and Elon Tusk's willy and we're going to finally see which of them officially has the biggest willy. <laughs> what they don't know though is the wizards have got a little surprise in for them and uh, we shall watch as things progress. It's uh, 10 day nights off for this one I am there. Uh, go back into daytime. How are we getting on? Well it's going to be a while. looks like Tusk is in the lead. Right. I shall make a little cut and we shall uh, come back when one of us is ready to launch. Okay, so we should, there we go, we're ready to launch. <laughs> right, so we, we, we have a winner. He owns Willie. And how much did he win by? Did the other guy even get it out? Oh yeah, he got it to the pad. <laughs> well, off you go. And there he goes. Bye bye, Elong. It gives the wizards their opportunity. Uh, 
as you come. Oh, let's get out to do this now. Get your rocket launch, never mind. transposition spell and we should see some rocks coming out of space now because Rick Cully didn't like the idea of these two wizards fighting so just a matter of waiting for them to come up the sky now maybe always the alarm going off now If he actually got time to work, uh, no, he never made it off the island. Oh, we're gonna see it coming in. Oh, there's the first one. That Elon Tusk. Uh. And there's one for Bozo. Right on time. Look at that. Oh, well, he's still sitting on the pad. Oh, perfect. People like that have paid their taxes, eh? Instead of waving their willies around going to space. Right, I'll put some little cinematics together in there. I shall see you all next time back in Spook Castle.